1983 Lincoln Scent with Double Die Reverse, graded in Mint State 66 Red by PCGS. Metal composition of the alloy is percent 99.20 zinc and percent 0.80 copper. Obverse side displays several carbon spots, light scratches, and plating blisters, which most likely prevented the finer grade from grading service. Bold and clear doubling is seen on all letterings of the reverse, which could be seen with naked eyes. This MS66 error penny ended up selling for $384. Number 6, 1922, No D. Lincoln Scent with Obverse Lamination Error, graded as VF25 Brown by NGC. VF, standing for Very Fine According to Coin Grading Scale. As a representative of this highly sought-after variety, obverse of this penny is weakly struck, plus slightly worn due to circulation. Other than that it displays lamination gouge near the head of the Lincoln. In numismatics, obverse lamination refers to a type of mint error where a layer of the coin's metal separates or peels away from the coin's surface on the front side, the obverse. This results in a thin layer or layers of metal lifting or peeling off the coin, creating a noticeable defect. Collectors often find mint errors like lamination interesting and valuable due to their rarity and the unique appearance they give to the affected coins. This one was sold for $780 on November 29th, 2023. Number 5, 1985, P. Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps, graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. The 1985 P. Jefferson Nickel is an elusive issue in MS66 condition with Full Steps. The virtually pristine surfaces of this spectacular superb gem are blanketed in shades of greenish gold toning and the design elements are razor sharp throughout. It was sold for $3,120. Number 4, 1982, D. Kennedy Half Dollar, graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. The coin is fully struck and displays exceptionally well-preserved satin luster, most of each side offers delicate champagne toning, although ice blue appears near the upper obverse and lower reverse peripheries. It ended up selling for $3,525. Number 3. 1983 P. Jefferson Nickel struck on a copper scent planchet, graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. This piece is more than just a wrong planchet error. It is also a transitional error. The mint ceased production of copper cents in 1982, transitioning to copper-plated zinc planchets that year. A few of the old copper blanks, caught in hoppers at the end of the year, found their way into coining presses in 1983, and those errors are deeply coveted by Lincoln Cent error collectors. It was sold for $4,800. Number 2, 1981, S. Susan B. Anthony Dollar, graded in Mint State 67 by NGC. Most Susan B. Anthony Dollar issues are plentiful to a certain degree as fine as MS67, but the 1981S is surprisingly rare in this grade. According to Heritage Auctions, the present coin displays bright, satiny luster and pristine, brilliant surfaces. Well-struck devices complete the eye appeal. It was sold for $5,040. Number 1. 1982 D. Bronze Lincoln Scent with Small Date. Graded as AU58 by NGC. Very rare transitional alloy error. According to Heritage Auctions, it is sharply struck and minimally abraded with medium to deep walnut brown toning. Due to the rising cost of copper, since transitioned from bronze to copper-plated zinc during 1982. The quality of strikes declined, and modifications were made to the obverse legends, including the date, to allow faster press production of the zinc scents. At Denver, the small date subtype was introduced after the remaining bronze planchets were coined. Any surviving 1982 D small date bronze scents are transitional alloy errors, cousins to the famous 1943 bronze scents. This example fetched a sum of $10,800 at auction. So there you have it, guys. Seven rare coins you should not spend as a change if you own.
Hit that like and subscribe buttons before you watch another video on YouTube. Take care.